Joe Vasquez is live in Santa Rosa, where it's the first test for neighborhoods devastated by the recent wildfires. Joe? My backpack. Yeah, you know what? The rain is coming down right now. It's been off and on the last couple of hours. Not much impact right now, but a lot of concern. I mean, I got burned out, so I mean, I'm kind of stuck with uh, just having to take it as it comes. Fires destroyed Robert Taylor's home in Coffee Park, and now a rainstorm threatens to hamper his rebuilding. My concerns are this: I got a lot of guys over on the uh, in the Coffee Park area working on cleaning things up, and. Hopefully it doesn't rain too much because you know that'll slow them down and all that bad, toxic burn matter is going to go right into the storm drains and into the creeks. All along the storm drains and the fire zones, you can see these long socks filled with straw called wattles. They're trying to keep the water supply from getting contaminated, but as you can see, it won't catch all the water from going down the drains. We just got to hope that they kind of filter it a little bit and catch the debris and it doesn't run off into the creeks. That's the idea and hopefully it's going to be effective. The burn scars where thousands of homes were wiped out are especially at risk for flash flooding. Santa Rosa's dramatic year may not be over yet. It's the rainy season. Hopefully we don't get five feet of water like we did last year. We'll see how that ball bounces. Yeah, can you imagine? Remember that? Just a few months ago, they were dealing with major storms here and then the fires, and now they are hoping it won't be major this time, but every single storm, eyes will be up in the sky to see what will happen. We'll be here throughout the night monitoring it. Reporting live in Santa Rosa, Joe Vasquez, KPIX 5.